just doing a quick video to review my new DJI Osmo Action 3. Long name, a little bit longer than a GoPro Hero, but I picked this camera because of battery issues with the GoPros that I keep hearing about overheating and shutting down and all that stuff. So, so I thought, why not? So I bought it, got a smoking deal on a open box, and paid like 150 bucks less than new. And we'll see how it does. Excited to see it. Maybe this will bring uh, a new piece to the channel. So enjoy, you guys. gonna try to up our game on the channel I got me a package ordered a little something come on maybe somebody should sharpen their knife this bad boy comes highly recommended I've shopped around for quite a while and I uh, shied away from the GoPro just from lots of horror stories of shutting down and overheating and this one was an Amazon return so I got a really good deal on it I thought why not here we go Nice, 32 gig SD card, cool, didn't know that came with it, that's a bonus, I got instruction manual, throw those away, got a snack, Let's see, we've got the case, we've got a mount, a useful cable, two batteries, nice, here is my new camera, it's wrapped up like it, well, okay, it's taped up. forward and rear facing screens all right open it up let's see looks like she goes in just like that close her up on and see what happens. I already got fingerprints on it. Excellent. Activate before use. Well, let me activate it real fast and we'll see what happens. Got her up and moving. I think it works. I've already got the camera in the case. And I like the case. It makes it fairly easy. It just unlocks like that. Kind of spreads open and you push it in. So it's easy to get on and off. And to get the battery in and out, as well as the SD card, you have to take the case off. I kind of don't like that, but what are you going to do? The mount that comes with it right here. So this is what comes with it. It's just a, a adhesive back mount. And this kind of goes in there with that screw. And then this piece, you can either put it, it's magnetic as well as it snaps on. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. It just you squeeze it together and boom, it pops on there. And then, ah, come on now. There we go. So, there it is. So you can mount it vertically, 
or you can mount it, flip it over the right way for you, you can mount it horizontally. And if you got it on the wrong way, it won't set on right because of the magnet. It makes it nice and easy. Can't put it on backwards. And this thing stayed driving down some old country roads. It stayed nice and firm. And I bought well, my one of my boys bought me this mount, and it's just a magnetic mount um, to stick on the cars and stuff. So yeah, so far I like it. I tell you the goods. It's good quality. I like the visual quality. I like the sound quality. Um, it records about 10 minutes at a time and it chops the video up about 10 minute segments so I just kind of let it go for about 25 minutes and then checked it out and then um, the one thing I could say that maybe GoPro has the uh, edge on is the wind cancellation there you go that's my uh, quick opinion on that but all in all I've been real happy with it only used it the one time but I've been happy with it it's easy to get the footage off and everything just exports into mp4 and you hook it up to your uh, your computer right like that or I hooked it up to my tablet and just uh, exported them as an mp4 and they work great there you go guys